Welcome to Facebook for the Blind, your look at the downfall of Western civilization through the best memes we can find each week. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the week we like to celebrate Facebook for the Blind, a show for the visually and Facebook impaired. I am your humble host, Steve, and I'm here with my beautiful co-host, Andrew TD. Hi, how you doing? And quiet Michael Labune. Hi. Well, that was really good. Yeah, I like that. That was good with the dome light and everything. That was very... If for those in the audience who are blind, Michael was lit by a dome light. <laughs> Very nice. And they're going to have some funny, funny memes for you. But first, a patented, trademark, copyrighted, you know, essential episode of every uh, episode of Facebook for the Blind. You know it. You love it. I'm talking about the depressing news. That's right. Number one. Uh, boom. Yep, patented trademark. Yeah, let's do it again. No, no, we don't need to do it again. No, I think we need to do it again. <laughs> I think. Did you say do it again? I will smack you. I I play all the songs you request, TD, as you know. I'll kick you. <laughs> it's all about dramatic emphasis. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, and some good news uh, that we all would like to hear. Uh, the Ukraine has dealt a blow it to Putin uh, in Kursk. Uh, anyway, yeah, sounds like, you know, I don't know, the score in that game ongoing. Uh, told Brain this, sent it out in a list, of course. The most important thing everyone's talking about is this year's butter cow. Look at that beauty. Yeah. Look at that beauty. Yeah. Kids. Yeah, I can show the thing. Are you serious? It's frozen on the depressing news uh, logo. Man. Well, that's that's no good. That's no good at all. That is no good. We're going to stop this share and start it again because apparently computer doesn't know what I'm talking about. We'll fix it one more time. Oh, butter cow. Butter cow oh. donated butter donated by Prairie Farms, which is Farmer owned. Yay. Oh, look at that. There's a guy in the background with a Nirvana t shirt on, and it's my I, favorite one. I want two pieces of toast the size of twin mattresses. Oh my God. You make me hungry every time. You're doing it during the news. Fuck. It's what right, I do, man. Of course, everybody was still talking about the uh, Olympics uh, and Bethany Griner. Do you remember uh, Bethany Griner? She was in Russia this time last year, but now she was one of the gold medal recipients. For the U.S. women's win on Team America. And she got very emotional. I got to tell you what, when I saw this, I got very emotional. Uh, so, Brittany Griner, gold medal winner in the Olympics, keeping Team America proud. Chris Blake at Chris J. Blake said, The only athletes I'll remember from these Olympics are the second best shooter and the 782nd thousandth most talented break dancer in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just called me, but it can't be anybody. Oh, it's Chandler, for fuck's sake. TD, text him and tell him he's a dumbass. Uh, I'm not touching it. Pff, pussy. <laughs> Democracy Now! <laughs> reports the leaked Project 2025 training video show former Trump officials detailing their plans to dismember government. It is even worse than you think. These guys wrap it in the flag. They blow patriotic music and they say you need to be able to do whatever trump wants you to do like destroy the entire department of education you know things like that it's actually very sick and there's like hours and hours of it that have been leaked because somebody inside knows this is terrible so you can watch it all uh the president threw uh what i like to call um a uh liapalooza down at mar-a-lago don't know if you caught this but um the uh npr uh, did uh, a fact check on that and found 162 lies and distortions. 162. The boy was only up there for 64 minutes. Do the math. That's like two and a half a minute. That's oh awesome. my God. Two and, a half, two and a half lies a minute. Seriously, think about if you had... Give me three. How many lies could you just come up with on the microphone? He can do two and a half. 
which, you know, rounds up to three LPM. But if we were talking about laughs per minute, <laughs> that would be very low. That would be open micer. That would be rank uh, amateur. Un unless it was a bunch of Democrats listening to him, then we might get a chuckle or two. So uh, NPR said that the vast majority of his answers featured inaccuracies. <laughs> Is that so polite? So polite, right? Uh, some of the big news that came up was the, uh, well, here's another lie that he told was crazy. He's like, oh, we're, ha we're having a crime wave. Murder is up. Violent crime is up. No, no, actually it's down. You're describing a completely different reality. Murder's down 26% uh, over the first quarter last year. And overall violent crime is down 15%. Um, we've actually been in a long downward trend of violent crime, but that doesn't sell Fox News ads. Now freaking does it. The other big story was that he claimed to have gone down in a helicopter crash with San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown. And somehow, in the process of crashing, he said that Willie Brown told him some terrible things about Kamala Harris. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I want you to try and picture that. <laughs> We're going down. Better get good with your God. Well, first off, let me tell you, Kamala, I, got, I need to tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but it turns out, of course, this was complete lie. Uh, Willie Brown said he'd never been in a helicopter with Donald Trump in his friggin' life, let alone talk smack about Kamala. So he's just like, no. And then a completely different politician, Nate Holden, former city council member and state senator from Los Angeles, said it was him, not Willie Brown, that was on Donald Trump's helicopter that almost crashed en route to Atlantic City. Now, uh, what you might have figured out here is that he is an old man and that both Brown and Holden are black. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and he's just confabulated the crap out of that. But I can also tell you, freaking Holden didn't give him any dirt on Kamala either. He is just making stuff up. <laughs> he's just blending it all together. And again, if you read the language, the media is being so polite about this. And it's like, dudes! <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, insanity. Uh, not so polite. Oh, yo, let's see. Wait, I want to do this. Let's see here. Uh, God damn it. I'm missing material here. So yeah, lots and lots of lies. Lots and lots of crap. Um, helicopter story was nonsense. Um, he also uh, decided to follow up on that and try to correct the record. And as James Fell so beautifully put it, Anal Musk and Danger Yam are doing a derp fest on Twitter tonight. <laughs> I'd rather watch Australian break dancing on a loop set to the theme song for Caillou. <laughs> oh, shut up. That's bad. <laughs> Somebody was defending them at the break dancing team, and he said, that performance was an entire season of The Office level of cringe. <laughs> <laughs> so, kind of, kind of fun thing... Um, uh, that I forgot to mention first, the FBI is now investigating uh, the Trump campaign because it says it was that Iran hacked sensitive documents. It's difficult to understand how sensitive the documents could have been from the Trump campaign as they were probably written in crayon, honestly, if you think about it. And uh, I heard him say something to the effect of, they had the gall to store those classified documents in a bathroom. Yeah. Who does that? Uh, MSNBC host Lawrence O'Donnell, this is what I want to talk about, he slammed his own network over their wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Trump, said it was 2016 all over again. Multiple networks kept this non-fact check stream of BS, like I said, Liapalooza at Mar-a-Lago, uh, absolutely insane. Um, so this got very bad press because he was just a rambling moron, um, so he went on to Anal Musk's uh, interview thing on Twitter. And uh, I loved USA Today's coverage of it. Trump rambles and slurs his way through an Elon Musk interview. It was an unmitigated disaster. Uh, Rex Hupke writes, For a fascism-curious billionaire who loves cuddling up to right-wing loons, Elon Musk sure is good at making right-wing politicians look stupid. <laughs> so, which I thought was pretty good. Anyway, so yes, Anal Musk interviewed the unfit toddler and it had absolutely, utterly predictable results. There were technical problems that delayed streaming audio for an hour. Yes, that's right. In the year 2024, 
uh, Elon Musk, the richest man in the world on a platform that he owns, couldn't stream audio. So stop giving me static, boys. <laughs> I, knew, okay? I knew you were going to bring it around. I knew you were going to bring it around. All right. Not even genius Elon, okay? And you know what he did afterwards? Then he said, oh, yeah, uh, Iran hacked him too. Pussy. I just finished <laughs> dinner or, or making <laughs> dinner, so it's perfect timing. Woo! Excellent, excellent. So as we said, utterly, pre utterly predictable results, uh, technical problems. I'm just wondering, like, did they pitch him on this? They were like, hey, Trump, you should go on to Twitter and stream it just like Florida Governor Ronnie DeSantis did. Remember that campaign launch on Twitter? Who'd have thunk since then that Elon Musk hasn't learned a lesson? Or that Trump didn't learn a lesson? What the hell? These people are stupid. <laughs> just, just absolutely crazy. So, yes, utterly predictable results. What do we got here? We've got rambling. We've got lies. And, oh, yeah, that's right. A lawsuit. <laughs> a lawsuit, too. Uh, uh, Elon decided to put out that combined views of this conversation with the real Donald Trump were uh, uh, subsequent discussion by over a billion. So he's trying to claim here that he got a billion views, that one out of every eight people on the planet watched Anal Musk and Danger Yam have a conversation. <laughs> Matt, Matt Bender says, Musk thinks his followers are such idiots. He's telling them that non-unique impressions on text posts are equivalent to unique viewers on live stream and its replay. So if you just scrolled past any of your friends mentioning this, then that was a click. That was a count. And it was like, oh my God, a billion people oh. scrolled past and ignored us. <laughs> <laughs> Other stuff there. I looked over on Twitter to see that it said that Trump was trending along with Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> like, like, oh, why is he tweeting? Oh, he's trending because of Epstein. And uh, here's a nice headline: Why is Donald Trump now campaigning from Jeffrey Epstein's private jet? Yes, Jeffrey Epstein's jet. The Lolita Express now has Trump 2024 emblazoned upon the side of it. Had you heard that? How fun is that? <laughs> um, anyway, and Brooklyn Dad says, imagine you're an oligarch and you need a private jet. Imagine with all the available planes buying Jeffrey Epstein's old private jet. Now, don't imagine buying it. Imagine riding in it with your name right on the side. Kooky, crazy, nutty stuff. <laughs> I thought at first maybe maybe uh, Trump's uh, stock had gone up. Uh, maybe that's what it was. No, Trump's stock is failing so hard. He stopped even using Truth Social. He's gone back onto Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Not good for your stock, my boy, when you go on to the competition, you twat. Uh, not the only person having a bad week in the media on the right, though. Laura Ingram said, you know, well, if you know Minnesota, and I know it well, especially Milwaukee, it's changed. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. So I just put it with, uh, we don't think you know. <laughs> if you know it well, and she does. This is a real quote. Did you guys catch this? South Canada people? No. <laughs> That was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the LA people were all excited because they had a 4.7 earthquake. I got to, I'm sorry. P Southern California people, you're just wusses. You're just freaking wusses. I've gone through multiple earthquakes bigger than that. None of them scared me enough to post. I mean, it's just, we have, we have tornadoes and thunderstorms. And we, I think I've had, haven't we had a 5.0 earthquake here? I feel like I've been through several earthquakes here. In we've Illinois. had a couple. I don't know if they've been five pointers, but we've had a couple. Well, I've been through several across the world, and uh, you know, get it together, California. You got to toughen up for the coming civil war. We always like to close out uh, with a uh, a nice, heartwarming animal story, and this week I've come across several. Uh, David Attenborough fans had a post of this enormous prehistoric animal, which is the massive Siberian unicorn, a real life thing, uh, also known as the Alasmatherium, roamed Eastern Europe and Western Asia alongside humans until at least 39,000 years ago. So look at these guys stand there's two guys like with all their hands, you know, like on the horn. That horn is bigger than either of these guys, and that's just the horn on the head of this thing that looks like Jim Henson created it for, like, the Dark Crystal. You know what I mean? Like, hooves and... Have you ever seen this thing before, guys? 
It's a real life thing. It's a real life thing. Siberian unicorn. Also, I've not seen that, but I thought they were made up. Right? <laughs> real life unicorns. Don't tell the Chinese. They'll want to grind that horn up and drink it so they can make their dicks hard. Okay, moving on. Smithsonian Magazine talking about one of my favorite species on the freaking planet. That's right, the Komodo dragons. The largest predatory Woo. lizards on Earth have been found to have iron-coated teeth. How about that? That is so metal. <laughs> so they're venomous and they have metal teeth. Yeah, Dude. nightmare fuel. Dude, absolutely. Here's the craziest thing, too. They're really slow, and people always wondered, well, how could they possibly, like, you know, hunt down prey? Well, and then people were like, oh, they hunt in packs, packs of predatory lizards. And then it was like, no, it's not just that, because they, like, slowly follow the things. It turns out that they get a bite. One of them gets a bite, and the massive amounts of bacteria in their mouth infect the thing. And, mm -hmm. by the, and they just follow it until it falls over with a fever. <laughs> Again, so metal. <laughs> and, and finally, my favorite thing that I have seen this week. That's right. This is the bunny harvestman insect. Look at him. Looks like a little bunny riding a spider mech. Look at that. Look at him. Looks like, dude, this looks like some kind of celebratory Japanese cake. <laughs> I was going to say, or something Dr. Seuss came up with on real good acid. <laughs> Oh no, it's much cuter than that. This is this Aww. is a little he's a little bunny. He's a little bunny harvest man. Look at him. He's driving a little spider mac like a transformer. That's so cool. That has been your heartwarming animal story wrapping up the news for August 13th, 2024. Hey Sammy, good to see you. Thanks everybody for coming, handing it off to my beautiful co-host Michael Labune for a nice, I guess, uh, medium, medium girthed round one. Wrong, Eric. Here comes my big long round one. Round one. Kicking it off. This week, uh, you know what? This isn't my first picture. We'll come back to this. Just says wood. But moving on. <laughs> Here we have Jay Templin, friend of the show, Jay Templin at Templin J, who is, uh, he's, well, he's sharing this picture. It says, Republicans, we need to ban drag. J.D. Vance at Yale Law School. And this is J.D. Vance in drag. <laughs> yep. Jay says, saw somebody refer to JD as Sofa Loren. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody else called him Ashley Furniture. Yeah. And now I'm as deceased as his career. <laughs> Love it. Mm. He really did pick the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> Here uh, it says, uh, quote, don't show up completely stoned, end quote. And it says me showing up. And it's just a picture of a... <laughs> <laughs> character at, at a house. <laughs> it's from Scooby Doo, one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> Feeling a little called out here, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> this one's coming to us from Ask Reddit, uh, and uh, AIDS lizard, AIDS hyphen lizard says, "How would one create a secret society?" The first comment says, "Not gonna lie, we're off to a pretty bad start." <laughs> 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 That's so dumb. It's so dumb. I love it. <laughs> Boogla tweets at Boog tweets says me carefully going around the victim's body with chalk. Detective, we don't usually outline the balls. <laughs> it says me. Oh, I'm not a cop. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Kristen Arnett says, no worries if not, she threatened. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys just need to know. I get it. I get it. No, I <laughs> get it. It's just, this is a picture yeah. of, uh, this is so fucking funny, man. It's a picture of J.D. Vance, a real picture. Uh, somebody screenshotted Fox News. It says, J.D. Vance holds rally in Philadelphia. And I... I think it's supposed to say Kamala Chaos, but the way they made this poster behind him, <laughs> it the people behind him are completely covering up the word chaos. So it just looks like this guy's stumping for Kamala. 
Yeah. <laughs> yep. <We> just, <laughs> they had failed all over the place, man. Yep. It's, it's been so funny. Jay at Jesus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, so there's a picture of a guy holding a, a stick, and the stick is shaped, I mean, just fucking exactly like a sword. It is uh, stick caliber. Yeah, it really is. And then next to that, there's another picture of, I mean, what we have here, gentlemen, is a perfect skipping stone. It, it's perfectly circular. It's absolutely perfect. Jesus says, uh, perfect stick or perfect rock, which one you taking? And uh, Georgie says the hardest cross crossroad any man will come by. I really, Word. I think we have to vote on this. Eric TD, which one you taking? Perfect stick or perfect rock? Perfect rock. TD. Um, it could change from day to day, but today I'm saying stick. Yeah, I I really agree with that. I think you can go back and forth. I'm gonna say that uh, that I I think more often than not though I land on rock. Mostly because uh, that stick will get brittle. That is true, but you throw that that rock once, you never get to throw it again. Well, no, you know, listen, a rock that's that perfect of a skipping stone, I'm never going to throw it. Mm. Step bro dot Steve, uh, we've known him a long time. We have a picture of a subway restaurant, and on the wall of the subway. Uh, someone has written with uh, spray paint. The words of the prophet are written on the subway walls. <laughs> <laughs> Any Simon and Garfunkel fans? And last one for round one, we have Papig. It says CIA, CIA interrogator is Kamala Brat. Answer me, me spitting blood. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 And that's it for round one. Kicking it over to Mr. TD. Hey, it, see, Lebune, it had been a while since you kicked one to me. And was it that hard not to give me one that was traumatizing? It wasn't that hard, now was it? Yeah, I was a little disappointed in myself that I didn't have a, like, uh, like. You 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 got two more rounds. Two You'll redeem, you, you got two more. You'll redeem yourself. All right. Okay. Once again, we will not be doing TD's political corner. We will be doing the dumbest shit TD found on the internet this week, also known as the world famous, often imitated, never duplicated short round one. Brought to you by the dumbest shit I found on the internet. <laughs> uh, this one is for uh, Sizemore. After last week, he put all these uh, statues, Easter Island <laughs> statues. This is a big one you could buy at like a Costco or something sitting on a pallet. It's, it's big. It's probably as big as I am. And it says, the HOA can suck my balls. This dude is on my lawn. And that was from our friend Moist Buddha. Keeping it moist. Keep it a Buddha. Yep. Yeah, that's right. All right. We do have a little bit of a topic, though, in round one here as we move on. And we kind of touched on it a little bit already as I'm stalling for time as we move on. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the world was captivated the other day by this Australian <laughs> woman named Rachel Ray Gunn, uh, whatever her last name was. Ray Gunn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gun is her last name. Duh. Uh, my buddy Mark uh, Page posted this one and it's just uh, the judges looking at Ray Gun doing her like little kangaroo tippy toe routine. And it's got the cast of Scooby Doo doing the creepy uh, tiptoe thing with her. <laughs> and, but no, we, we didn't stop there. The mean memes were not kind to Miss Gun. Moving oh, on. Um, memes every day, friend of the show, uh, post uh, Ray Gun again in that. Tippy toe pose says losing Steve Irwin is now the second worst thing to happen to Australia. <laughs> it, it, it was really bad, guys. Like if you oh, go I look it up on yeah. look it up on the YouTube's man. No, don't. Uh, move, I mean, <laughs> if only if you hate yourself. Moving on. Right. Um, friend of the show, Kristen Unakis. Uh, hey, Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Uh, hey, she 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 uh, reposed from new friend of the show. This is so depressing. I went and ate a whole block of cheese in protest. Love it. Uh, <laughs> and they post uh, again. Uh, the judges look at Reagan as she's doing the tiptoe thing, but she's going toward the refrigerator. It says, "Me sneaking through the house at three a.m. to eat shredded cheese." Ah, I don't do this. Uh, I walk ah. like a man to the refrigerator at three a.m. I just I, I strut. I don't tiptoe. <laughs> I I I I, be, I big energy. Right? Yeah. I know where I'm going. All right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> memes every memes every day. Once again, um, 
they do have a picture of uh, the Hawk to a girl, and under the is Ray Gunn doing the tippy toe thing, and uh, with the uh, Hawk to a girl it says, "Thanks for the memories, darling," but we moved on to someone else, and it's Ray Gunn. <laughs> But the internet wasn't done with old uh, H- Haley Welch. That is the hot to a girl's name. Moist Buddha, once again, a friend of the show, Moist Buddha, the moistest of the Buddhas. Uh, he reposed from Haley Welch herself and it says, exciting news. Haley Welch's official membership fan card is now available to join the exclusive club and enjoy. And it's got a couple pictures of Haley and like sundresses and cowboy hats and this, that, and the other. And somebody commented, she just catch me outside for people who watch way too much Yellowstone. Oh, my God. And here, here, anonymous uh, commenter, because, God damn, that's accurate. Tight. That is tight. 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 Uh, but, yeah. And finally, uh, r- capping off uh, TD's round one of stupid shit he found on the internet. Uh, friend of the show, Shithead Steve. Hey, buddy. Hey. Let me tell you um, something. Let me tell you, let me tell you what- I'm listening. Ryan, that's there's such a delay. Something's wrong with my with my internet. I just said I'm never turning on Haley Welch. Oh, I don't, I don't think I'm turning on her, but never. we're 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 at minute thirteen, brother. Wow. Um, we got shithead Steve here. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> for, for the show, shithead Steve here, and he's got a picture of uh, Matthew McConaughey from the Dallas Buyers Club movie. <laughs> Uh, looking very sad, screaming, crying while driving. And it says, me knowing I have to work another 30 plus years while some idiot is set for life for saying hock to ah! <laughs> uh, While I do appreciate me some Haley, some Haley and some hock to a girl stuff, that is painfully fucking true. And that's all I got for TD's often imitated, never duplicated, short round one, brought to you by the dumbest shit I could find on the internet. Over to you, Sizemore. Absolutely. Wait till you find out why Kim Kardashian's famous. <laughs> as soon as I do that, then the next thing I'll tackle is cold fusion. Paris Hilton, Paris Hilton didn't even have a reason. She, I think she was just famous for nothing. She was famous Hilton. for being Paris. She was pa- famous for being Paris Hilton and being an idiot. Kardashian yeah. was famous because she was hot and it was had a famous parent and was Her an idiot. Her dad was one of OJ's lawyers. Yeah. This is so bad. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> hey, man, it is the wholesome round brought to you by Toes. Four out of five Toes recommend Andrew T. <laughs> Four out of five Toes. You you just trying to, were you trying to defend Paris Hilton's fame? Where Where was that headed? Uh, it wasn't really heading anywhere. It was just, right? it was just oh, stating the fact. She deserves to be famous. Her dad's rich. Like, no, I, I, wasn't, no, I wasn't defend. I wasn't defending, bro. I was just giving the obvious facts of what she is as a human being. Hey guys, check out this turquoise yeah. Tim Walls restored 1979 International Scout. Have you ever seen that, one of these trucks? That makes my nipples hard. I know, doesn't it, man? I freaking love this. It's With fun. Minnesota plates on it, people. That warms the cockles of your heart because it is the wholesome round. That's right. Moving on. Uh, now, a friend of the show, Kat Kuzminoff, who runs a great place called The Grape Escape up in uh, uh, the Quad Cities up there, uh, reposts this from Perry Belcher, reminding us that idolizing a politician is like believing a stripper really likes you. Oh. <laughs> and I dated one. Let's remind ourselves of what's going on here. Here we have the famous three panel from the other uh, 98% with the... Uh, ah, remind me of the, the conversation here, TD. It's, it's Spider- Spider-Man and, and Harry Osborn from Spider-Man 3, I believe, having a conversation. And Harry Osborn says, I really like Tim Walls. And, uh, or no, I'm sorry, Spider-Man says, I really like Tim Walls. And Osborn says, he's not invested in America. He doesn't own a single stock or bond. And Spider-Man's like, I already told you I liked him. You don't need to yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, here, I think, is one of the best ones. We all talked about the Turkish assassin uh, who came in second in the silver medal winner from Turkey <laughs> in the uh, yeah. pistol competition. Matt Mason, Ministry of Memes, has him situated on a rooftop firing, and we have Ray Gun doing the Matrix uh, sort of bullet time <laughs> <laughs> dance. And avoiding the bullet. So, oh, I'm so mad you found that one instead of me. 
<laughs> Here we have friend of the show, Corey Showtime Robinson, uh, who has this post from Ray Bullock that has repositioned Stefan from Saturday Night Live. He's saying, this Olympics had everything. A gay satanic last supper, Australian break dancing, a Turkish assassin, a gymnast sponsored by Parmesan cheese, and just when you think the fun is over, knock, knock. Who's there? It's Tom Cruise. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, as our resident Saturday Night Live expert, Michael, did this happen? Because <laughs> they should have brought Stefan back for this to happen. <laughs> you know what? I'll be honest. It's been a really long time since I've watched Saturday Night Live. I, I've kind of missed Same. this whole season. The last two. Understood. Understood. Okay, I think this next one, I think I want uh, TD to read this for me. Uh, here okay. we go. Yes. Jane Osborne has posted this. Uh, Jane Osborne, new friend of mine, apparently. Um it says day one of my raw food diet, and it's just a couple of tubes of Toll, Nestle Toll House cookie dough cut open and squeezed onto a cutting board. Raw food diet, baby. I approve. I approve. That's, uh, nice, nice. Uh, best and worst of Twitter too. And if you're not following the best and west, worst of Twitter too, you are missing out. As a post from La Marie Ortiz, and this is from Iolf B. I swear to God, spelled A O I F E underscore B E E underscore. Life Pro Trip. One time somebody said my own joke louder than me, and everybody laughed. But as my act of revenge, I started saying the joke was kind of problematic. And everyone started agreeing and turned on the joke thief. <laughs> 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 to be canceled says, what kind of person would think of such things? And it's the hot dog driver from uh, Always Sunny. <laughs> who, we all want to find who drove this hot dog truck. Here. We all want to solve the crime. Uh Bro, don't like that lot, bro. Uh, has a four-panel cartoon here, and we have some, I'm going to say, Aboriginal uh, people in a desert, it looks like. Uh, and there's a crop of some sort, uh, a plant that is in cracked dirt, and it says, the crops are dying. And somebody says, the rain dance is not working. We see the shaman doing the rain dance, and it's not working. Let me try. And it's Reagan. <laughs> That'll bring the rain. Okay, it was funnier in my head. Oh, God. Care. Moving on. <laughs> God, no. Uh, friend of the show, Lloyd Drang, just like it spells, says, I'm Gen X. We grew up in an all-print world. We read really fast. So my millennial and Gen Z peeps, I beg you for the love of Bananarama, please just send the article and not the TikTok of the dude talking about the article. In Prince's funky name, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I mean this. I mean this deeply from my heart. Uh, here we have another post from friend of the show, Corey Showtime Robinson, second, I believe, in the show. And she is talking about Roseanne, uh, who was interviewed, and apparently she looks like she stared at the Ark of the Covenant. Because she is saying, McDonald's is selling fetus burgers. <laughs> <laughs> this is an actual quote from Roseanne Barr during an interview with Marjorie Taylor Greene. And Christopher George has captioned it, the McBortion. <laughs> she really does like look like she might be melting there got about three more left here friend of the show mark anthony up in chicago says all the men's bathrooms at my work have free tampons and pads in them and it's really great i don't know if the women's and non-binary bathrooms do this but i shit standing up like a man with my hand over my heart facing the flag <laughs> what? there you go two more uh, this is from friend of the show, Jason, uh, who's got a post from Midwest versus everybody at Midwestern underscore. Oh, says, when you ask a Midwesterner, how's it going? And we have the uh, the uh, family feud uh, squares on the score. It says, uh, how's it going? Midwestern says, living the dream. Oh, it's going. Another day, another dollar. Could be worse. Any day above ground is a good day. Another day in paradise. And this was sent to me with the caption, I'm excited to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, no. I say probably four of these on a regular basis right it's it's just part of our dna i think and finally for the wholesome round another gazden flag <laughs> for the collection this one uh is from childless cat ladies for democracy and it just says oh lord he treading and we have a big chunky cat who is clearly walking on every part of that snake flattening him <laughs> in the grass oh lord he treading <laughs> Gadsden flag 
for the collection. And that wraps it. up my wholesome round one. Handing it back to you, Michael. All right, here we go with round two, the irrelevant round. Oh, yeah. Starting off with grandma. Here we have a picture on the left of a, of a grandma. And on the right, and it says grandma. And on the right, we have a picture of an urn. And it says grandma.zip. Dang. How dare you, sir. It's like a zip file, Eric, but a person. Yep. Here we have Tank Sinatra, Tank dot Sinatra, and uh, it's a picture of Canadian swimmer, uh, <laughs> a Canadian swimmer, and uh, I, all right, he says we know he can swim, but and then you see on the Chiron, the country listed next to his name, it says Ken Richard Funk. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Here we have a picture of a magazine, and it's a little baby with a uh, onesie, a Thrasher onesie, and uh, it's it's a it's a catalog, and it says, uh, "I bet this baby doesn't even fucking skate, fucking poser." <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a picture of a sectional, and it says, "This is the coach JD Vance had sex with," oh. and uh, oh yeah. For our audiences, I, I got to draw your attention to some some areas on this couch that are. Uh, what's the female version of phallic? Um, Vaginal? V v vagic. Vagic? Lab labiac? Yeah. yeah, labiac. Labiac. That's a good one. Hitchy, hitchy, anyway, hitchy. one of my one of my friends sent me sent me this meme, and uh, TD, I want you to tell him uh, what I sent back. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a bunch of uh, people attacking a microphone and just one of them saying wood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, but I love it. It's like it's like a it's like Japanese parliament. Like yeah. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. They actually fight over there. They really literally fight. <laughs> I'd be willing to put some money down on that if it was our if it was our folks. I put some money on it. Here we have a a picture of a. Uh, the Lord's, uh, the Last Supper, and um, and it's uh, except it's only Jesus at the table. Uh, everyone else is at is a, along the top, like a gallery on a Zoom call, and it just says, "All right, does everybody have sound?" <laughs> <laughs> no. no, love it. <laughs> I think I have three more. Uh, here's a. Uh, Here's a picture of a dog wearing a gamer headset sitting at a computer. He looks like he's got his little paw close to the mouse. And it says, your mom called me a good boy last night. <laughs> <laughs> Sick burn. Nah. Sick burn. That's from at John me for 2069. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> this guy fucks, man. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, or he's 12. Mason Wong at Mason Wong. He says, how we understand the assignment, hashtag Harris Waltz 2024, hashtag Big Dad Energy, hashtag Tim Waltz. And it's, uh, oh, TD, tell me who these people are. It's Ted Lasso plus um, Michael Sheen, or uh, yeah, Michael Sheen from The West Wing. I don't know his character's name. And they eat, if you add them together, you get uh, Tim, Tim Waltz. Waltz. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 yep. Yep. I actually think it's pretty good. All right, this is my last post for round two, the irrelevant round. We have Niles Gilman, who says, question, how often does Tim Walls think about the Roman Empire? Hmm. Friend of the show, Justin Grant, says, not as often as JD thinks about the Ottoman Empire. Oh! And that's all I have for round two. We'll get it back to you, TD. TD. Uh, okay, that one was mildly traumatizing. Okay, you're getting you're That's getting good. there. You That's you gotta let, you you ain't lost your touch just oh, yet. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, oh yeah, I'm I'm still scared for the next round. Hello, All right, hi guys. We're gonna continue uh, TD's tour de dumb shit. Woo! Um, in what we called round two, the inebriated round. Place your bets. Um, I bet you're inebriated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> nerds over forty, friend of the show. Hey. Um. 
they post from back to the 90s and it's a picture of a long john silver's restaurant looking exactly like you think it does and it says there's a secret society living amongst us that are keeping long john silvers in business <laughs> I've, met them. I've met them they're weird yeah um new acquaintance of the show starfucker 76 oh yeah suggest- hey, starfucker. Su- suggested for me um <laughs> Puts up a, uh, it's a text message here, and, it's, and someone goes, uh, it's it's at 943 a.m., and it says, what time is the pregame? And the other person goes, it's a four-year-old birthday party. And the original poster goes, don't make me fucking ask again. <laughs> <laughs> I may have been the original poster. Uh... Um, Lebune, well, could you do this one for me, please? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, Cutting Edge Logging LLC. Uh, they have uh, two two pictures here. It's uh, names of towns. First town is named Fingerville, and it says <laughs> last stop before next town Pound Town. <laughs> oh, Shameful, God. shame of you, shame. Oh. Yeah. Was, <laughs> moving on. That was naughty. That was, that was very naughty. Uh, I know. Friend of the show, I'm ashamed. Uh, you should be. Uh, friend of the show, Christopher Pugh, uh, post a picture here, and it's the buttoned up golfer next to John Daly. John Daly is an absolute legend of a human being. Not a good one, just a legend. Um, and the buttoned For our up golf- listeners, the other buttoned up golfer is Tiger Woods. Is that who that is? I wasn't sure. Yes. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I can't see his face. You know everybody. <laughs> I can't see his face. John Daly by his pants. I knew John <laughs> Daly by his beard. Show respect. I don't know Tiger Woods by his ass, Labune. Well, that makes I, one of us. I don't. Okay, that's what I thought. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Tiger Tiger Woods, <laughs> if that's Tiger, is labeled some guy at the bar bitching about preferred pronouns. And John Daly taking a big old drag of a cigarette is labeled me referring to him as she her for the rest of the night because he doesn't believe in preferred pronouns. <laughs> and the sad part is John Daly would absolutely do that <laughs> yeah he yeah. would also it's Tiger Woods he's wearing a Nike hat I thought Nike dropped him after he was doing the Waffle House waitress thing anyway um, yeah, he's, he's calling he's your so meme funny. old it's, it's I mean it's a possibility uh, disappointing affirmations friend of the show she got a picture of the of the waves coming in, breaking over some rocks there on the beach, and it says, "Don't just be a fuck up, be the best fuck up you can be." <laughs> size more, size more. Do we need to hang that one up down there in your basement? I would like that cross stitched and mounted. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. uh, the, again, new friend of the show. This is this is so disappointing. Uh, this is so depressing. I went home and ate a whole block of cheese in protest. I love her. I know, right? Um, they uh, post a picture here, and it says, "Me trying to find my place in this world." It's a person holding a key card labeled three seventeen, and they're at the sign of the hotel. It says to the right, uh, rooms three hundred through three sixteen. To the left, room three eighteen through three twenty eight. <laughs> the fuck? Oh no, dude! Yeah. I've, had to, I've had to deliver pizza to this room. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad. I never had to do that, thank God. Um, and uh, making their third appearance is so depressing. I went and ate a whole block of cheese in protest. Wow. It, and they called me out on this one. Uh, why do I rewind the show and then pick up, pick my phone back up and miss the same part again? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh especially uh, watching wrestling. Especially watching wrestling. Huh. Um, that. Yeah, all the time. Moving on. Uh, this is the last one I got for round two here from Memes Every Day. And it's a picture of a quarter pounder with cheese from uh, the Golden Arches Supper Club. Hmm. And it says, uh, British people be like, Oi, I love the point one one three three nine eight one kilogrammer with cheese. <laughs> it, it, and my buddy Nathan uh, posted, they really get confused when they buy a quarter pounder and it costs more than a pound. <laughs> <laughs> British people with their weird measurements and silly money. All right, and that's all I got. Oh, uh, 
<laughs> that's all I got for round two. It was, I, I joke with Love Labune. That's all I got no, for I'm round two. No, I'm talking to them. Oh, okay. I'm on your side. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Fuck, fuck them then. All right, well, yeah. Um, that's all I got for round two, the inebriated round. Because spoiler Ooh. alert, totally. Over to you. He was inebriated. He was this, inebriated. For the umpteenth bajillion week in a row. <laughs> really got to really got to figure out our betting pools on this. I I still don't understand how how we do it. I lose it every week. <laughs> Always uh, bet on green, folks. Always bet on green. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't even. <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even understand that. I don't even know what that marijuana means. joke. <laughs> I guess guys, it was. Guys, my computer is totally taking a dump right now. And, and, and a reference to the um, action classic Passenger Fifty Seven, starring Wesley Snipes. Okay. All right. There's, getting into the irradiated words. round. Getting into the irradiated round, and uh, yes, place your bets. Is Eric irradiated? With a nice post from the Lavender Library and poster based in Canada. Uh, and it's just a simple three sentence. Pick your battles. Nope. That's too many battles. Put some back. <laughs> Hell yeah. I know. That's another one I want cross-stitched and on the wall. Oh, hey, absolutely. Who, is, who is this actress? Is this Parker Posey, my man? Uh, uh yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Is it Parker Posey? Wow. That's the first like person I've been able to name here. We, that, we have that, a... is, that is one of my childhood crushes, Parker Posey. Parker Posey, which, you know, from an industry standpoint, of course, she was uh, the librarian in Party Girl. So, you know, I mean, in grad school, she stole all of our hearts uh, in, in library school. Uh, so here we have a picture of uh, Parker Posey, and she looks like she's on an interview show of some kind. Uh, she's in an armed chair. She's curled up. She's got her feet tucked up underneath her. She's got a hand holding her, her legs in place, and she's sort of chewing on her nails uh, as she's looking intently. And it says, asking what happened when I actually already know every detail from my network of rats. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought resonated really well. <laughs> uh, hey, Michael, I was thinking maybe you could read this one from the U.S. Federal Department of Propaganda. Sure. This next meme from the U.S. Federal Department of Propaganda. It says... It's a picture of fucking star, outer space and stars and shit. It says, it only takes one generation refusing to serve God for the next generation to know nothing about him. And then Morty. And then, uh, there's a picture of Morty and he's doing finger guns. And it says, you son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I saved this one to drop into some right wing conversations just for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous woman at dangerous uh wco has posted in intersectional memes and feminist dreams friend of the show says whatever you think you can't do just know that there is somebody who is confidently doing it wrong right now they have yeah. no plans at doing it better either and people are paying them to do it please believe yeah. in your own excellence as much as they believe in their mediocrity word <sighs> And when I read that, I felt kind of attacked. <laughs> but I know I know I'm mediocre on a good day, so I'm okay with it. I know that I'm doing this show wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Friend of the show, Owen Anderson, has posted this from Ronaldo Aquino about books. And we have a bumper sticker here that says, The guns don't kill people sure seem to... The guns don't kill people, people. Sure seem to think a book can make you gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those things that makes you go... It's book hmm. specifically. Hmm. Sorry. Keep going, Eric. Sorry. Dude, I think that one of the reasons that I like to smoke marijuana in the state of Illinois where it's legal is because yeah. I read in the Bible that Stephen got stoned. <laughs> good enough for hey. good enough for steven it's good enough for all two Anderson. two members of the audience went to sunday school and I bless you know. both the rest of y'all going to hell i'm gonna pray for you I this next one's that. from friend of the show natasha muse you guys know the comedy of natasha muse if you're not following her you're a miss now and some laughs she says you got to remember that in australia they're used to break dancing upside down <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It's fucking so <laughs> dumb. It's so dumb. It's so great. You <laughs> got something else to go with this. Oh, nope, that's not it. All right. Uh, friend of the show, Stephen Abram, making his first appearance in the show, uh, has a post from CQ at Coke Tweet. 
says, Tim Walls is the dad an entire generation wish they had instead of the one they lost to Fox News. Here, here. <laughs> yeah, she hurt a lot of feelings with that tweet. Yeah, she really did. Yeah, I, I, I can vouch for this. Hey, but I'll tell you what, though. There's a great documentary out there. I, I'm sure you can get it legally. I didn't, but you could. And it's called The Brainwashing of My Dad. And uh, yeah. fascinating. And here's the cool thing. It has a happy ending. So go watch it. Brought to you by Brainwashing My Dad. Science Humor has a post from from six days ago who's reposting Jeremy Parrish, probably, blue check mark, at GameSpite. Says, out of nowhere, my nephew just asked, do you think Pavlov thought about feeding his dog every time he heard a bell ring? <laughs> and now I'm going to be haunted by this question. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm too inebriated for you to be asking questions like that, brother. Philosophy 101 tonight, class. Deal with it. Friend of the show, James Fell, uh, the sweary historian who we quote all the time on this page, uh, says uh, he made an announcement about his volume two of On This Day in History, Shit Went Down, and the art of Robin Hawkins responded zzzz, zzz, 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 like, like a snore thing. And he says, uh, the art of Robert Hawkins, volume one has sold close to 100,000 copies now, but I'm sure your teenage wolf man walks in on his parents having sex art is equally popular. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Look, it's framed and everything. It's, it's like, hi. <laughs> oh. It really paints a scene, doesn't it? I like how the frame looks like he's looking through a door. Like it really does. It really seems like he's. It, it's like he took the Universal Wolfman and combined it with Michael J. Fox from Teen Wolf, and this is what we got. A lot of eyes. Those you'd almost you look at those and you'd say, "Oh, are those googly eyes that you bought at the store and like drew over?" Nope, those are, he painted them. Uh, here, James Fell, friend of the show and sweary historian, says, uh, "I never saw Howard the Duck, but my crush from Back to the Future just reignited because Leah Thompson posted." I find this man super weird, and I did a love scene with a duck. Yes, she did. <laughs> In her panties. <laughs> she has reposted David Hogg, friend of the show, saying with a picture of Trump saying, honest question, what the hell is Trump even saying here? This man is unfit to be president. <laughs> and Leah's like, yeah, super weird. And I did a scene with a duck. So... <laughs> Uh, friend of the show, Bob Stein. From the, uh, many of the Zoom comedians probably know Bob Stein from the audience as he goes to a lot of KO comedy shows. He's got a post from Mark Sheldon that he has captioned, It's a miracle! Because it says, Funny how after wearing that huge bandage and talking about taking a bullet, there is no scarring or any sign of injury. It's almost as if he's a liar. No. <laughs> Did you guys... I was trying to find the meme, but there's one of Cat Williams, and it said, This motherfucker grew his ear back like a salamander! <laughs> yeah. I like that one. Midwest versus everybody in the show again, with a picture that kind of looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger sitting it on a is. rock in the forest with, like, animals all around him. It looks like Disney forest music would be playing, you know, and it says, Midwesterners, when there's no humidity in August. <sighs> oh, yeah. It is what it's like. It's fucking totally Hell yeah. Insane. It's absolutely it's exactly insane. what we do. Dude, I've had my windows open for a week. A week. Yeah. A yeah. week. Air conditioning's off. Windows are open. Oh, it's amazing. Freaking amazing. Uh, this one's just a post from, you know, I don't know. I found this in the wild, I guess. Uh, it just says, Don Old remembers a helicopter crash that never happened, but he forgets that he flew on Epstein's jet seven times. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And then here's the funniest thing. Okay, so that, which I think is a pretty tight little, you know, observation there, and was liked by quite a few people, uh, had this comment from a friend of my, friend of the, I don't, man, this, Daryl is just like out there. So Daryl says, Kamala says she won't tax tips now. Another fucking copycat Democrat. She's going to use all of Trump's ideas. And I said, nope. <laughs> but... And the more I thought about it over the week, I was like, man, that is a hell of a clap back, though, isn't it, boys? I said, your candidate's a fucking pedophile. And he was like, oh, yeah, yours is a copycat. I know. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, I I really do want politicians to take good ideas from each other. I know. I was like, yeah. That was my first. To not you, tax. you know, credit where credit's due. Okay, decent idea, fuckhead. But, yeah. 
Well, here's the funniest thing. I was just like, so you don't want Harris to copy the idea of the candidate you like? Question mark. I was like, these guys can't even get straight what they're mad about. I mean, <laughs> which is just, yeah, I'm tickled. They have nothing. It's really ridiculous. You copycat. Seriously, when was that? When was that a good barb to throw? <laughs> anyway. no. And here we have Pinky Kamari. Uh, if you're not following Pinky Kamari, you're missing out. Got a sign at the, the center on the chain link fence. says, this work center has been accident-free since Joe left. <laughs> oh, they're, 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 they're going to put one up with my name on it at work. Oh, I, can, I can feel it. Wrapping up the irradiated round. Welcome to the new members of the audience. Hi. Awesome. And handing it back to my beautiful co-host, Kawhi Michael Labune. Oh. All right, here we go with round three. The penultimate Lebune, round. Labune, are you aware that you have a mammal sitting on your head? Yes. These fucking cats, man. Hilarious. This one's Leroy Jenkins. Transphobes <laughs> eat shit. End of the show. Transphobes eat shit at Never Pilled. Says, repeat after me. Socialism does not replace democracy. Socialism yeah, replaces it. capitalism. It, it, yeah, it's, it's still it's still loading. Reload. I'm just gonna fucking do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, what, this is what we fix. call the tef- technical difficulty section of Facebook for the blind. This hey, rarely stop happens. Stop we'll stealing my shit. <laughs> we'll fi- we'll fix it in post exactly. Can you guys fucking see the goddamn... No! Meme? no. Spin, spinning wheel of death. Oh, God. And now I see a mammal on your shoulder. It's Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. Can you Jenkins. see it? It's still fucking spinning. Nope. It's still spinning. All right, you guys are just going to have to... I know you're going to have to fucking listen. Because I yes. can't wait. <laughs> I'm good. I'm in. Transphobes Go. eat shit. Show transphobes eat shit says repeat after me. Socialism does not replace democracy. Socialism replaces capitalism. And the ultimate warrior says, repeat after me. You're a dumb cunt. (laughs) You're a dumb cunt. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. One of the the comments says, if they throw it right over the plate, you're morally obligated to hit a home run. Oh, yeah. Dumb but curious. Friend of the show, dumb but curious, at Internet Hippo, says the ancient Greek philosophers get way too much credit. They weren't smart. They were just early. I could think of stuff, too, if nobody knew anything yet. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Next up, we have Pipes Buffet. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, at Pipes Buffet. Friend of the show, Pipes Buffet. Been following you long enough. You're a friend. It says it's a picture of the Pillsbury Doughboy, and he's handing out uh, marijuana cookies, and oh, yeah. uh, there's stacks of money coming out of the toaster, and he's smoking a big fat joint, and it says, "No, I don't think. I'm afraid I'll I'll I am." <laughs> <laughs> Really wish you guys could see these memes. They're great. I know. I know. Oh! I that one. I we can see you now. Oh, great. Here we have a picture of Donald Trump uh, just disgustingly uh, mimicking and making fun of a disabled person. And it says, if you see someone being a bully, we have a picture of Tim Waltz now getting out of a limousine. And it says, always get a teacher. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I really, really love this meme. Oh, I, I appreciated this. It says, this is what $200 in groceries gets you. And there's just a few things in this cart. I mean, there's like all-purpose flour, spinach and goat cheese pizza, Eggos, a bunch of bananas, and uh, uh, like 1,325-piece Lego set. <laughs> From Star Wars, so you know it's Yeah, it's Star Wars. What? I just didn't, I didn't say that because I don't know what ship this is. This, this is from a show that hasn't come out yet. This is from a show that'll come out early next year called uh, Skeleton Crew. I don't know the name of the ship, but I know the name of the show. Fucking love you, TD. That's what I do, man. Amazing. Hey, uh, Eric, I wanted you to read this one. I thought you might get a kick out of it. 
Uh, here we have four really cool symbols. Uh, one says he, and it has the ancient symbol with the circle and the arrow coming out of it at an angle, he. And then she, the symbol of Venus, you know, like a mirror, like a circle with a plus at the bottom of it. They, which has a plus at the bottom of it, an arrow at an angle coming out of it, and another arrow coming out the other side with a, with a line through it. And we, and then it's a hammer and sickle. Hell he, yeah. He, she, they, we. Get your tools right. It looks like Pipes Buffet is back. I didn't know that was going to happen. Hey, Pipes, uh, Pipes Buffet is back. Another two Pipes panels. Buffet. And it says, my car is making a horrible noise. This young lady talking to a mechanic. She says, my car is making a horrible noise. The mechanic says, have you tried removing that tool compact disc? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not approve this message. No, I, I hate approve. that, but that's good. <laughs> I, I don't approve. Fuck tool. Turner Barrowman. Uh, friend of the show, Turner Barrowman. Says, my girlfriend will be like, you suck at decorating. And then confidently put three twigs in an old milk jug. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, so many relatives. <laughs> uh, hey, news update, everybody. Ilan Omar won her primary. Very, Yay. very good news. <laughs> Very nice. And lastly, we have a two panel here. The first panel is this very angry man, and he's wearing a tank top and he's yelling. He's standing, he's like about to storm out of a door, and he says, You people disgust me. And then the second panel, uh, it's just zoomed out. And uh, and he has a massive erection. <laughs> Kicking it over to you, TD. You know what? I lost my faith. I knew you traumatized me. It he, is kind of easy. I mean, he, me, he hasn't lost. He hasn't lost touch. Ha, hasn't kicked over to me in months, and just right back with the therapy. All I right. did, see. He, you know, his mouth was saying, "His mouth was saying, you people disgust me." Yeah. See. Shut up, Fabio. I grew up Catholic. I know what's happening in that meme. This body. Uh, Go ahead. All right. Dude. Yeah. Uh, friend of the show, Chris Van Vliet. Um, blue check mark. Uh, he uh, has a picture here. It says, when you don't let the pizza rolls cool down, and it's four professional <laughs> wrestlers, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, The Big Show, and Edge, uh, all yelling Edge. or making some kind of painful expression, but they all have a pizza roll uh, inserted in their mouth. And yeah, when you don't let the pizza rolls cool down. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. I remember it well. <laughs> The, the big show is my favorite. <laughs> oh yeah, big, big show. He not only was the dude seven foot tall and five hundred plus pounds at his peak, but dang, he had an expressive face. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. um, acquaintance of the show, possibly friend. I'm not sure how y'all feel about him. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Hey Neil. Um, he just comments here: visiting space aliens upon seeing humans oppress or kill one another over who they worship who they sleep with what side of an arbitrary line they were born on or how absorptive their skin is to sunlight hmm. would surely race home and report no sign of intelligent life on earth hmm. yeah probably yeah but this is yeah this, this is the last of td's uh random bullshit by the way yeah. uh moving on dumb shit across the internet there we go jo josh burt friend of the show hi josh um someone's asking the question life without smartphones must have been so boring and it's a picture of a keg floating in a trash can which means that sucker's been emptied and it says nah we managed <laughs> <laughs> many <laughs> many a friday saturday night my friends sure. many a friday saturday night it's amazing That's in fact I was, pro I was probably at this party uh, um some, some dumbass name andrew td um i posted this as visual wordplay joke and it's a picture of a car on a um, tow wagon being hauled by another car in a parking lot of a restaurant. And it's actually an Outback pulling an Outback, stopped to eat at an Outback, parked Outback. Hey. <laughs> and that's every, everything you see there. Dude, that is so meta. <laughs> right? <laughs> there was only a on. supper that night. <laughs> oh, yes. More dumb shit here. Um, from my dumbass, once again, I will never not post this whenever it pops up in my memories. And it says, facts, I guarantee. Uh, I do not want a gumbo recipe from the New York Times. I want a gumbo recipe from an old woman named 
Mama Thibodeau Landry, who can bare knuckle box an alligator while reciting the Holy Rosary in Cajun French. <laughs> that old woman is uh, bulletproof. Mm. Nothing can stop Mama Thibodeau Landry. I, uh, I do want. I do want to eat some Mama. I do stuff. want that gumbo. Yeah. Um, look at this fire! <laughs> oh, absolutely. Moving on. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Uh, X Men geek acquaintance of the show. Hey, has a pic- has a picture here, and it's Hugh Jackman riding a blue and yellow bike while in his costume from his most recent film, Billion Dollar Making, Deadpool and Wolverine. I cannot say enough good things about that movie. Nice. Uh, never, and I mean never, did I think I needed to see Hugh Jackman dressed as Wolverine riding a Wolverine themed bike. But here we fucking are. And he is he has got the happiest look on his face, sticking his tongue out, just being just happy Australian bastard. Fun. This is before Ray Gun. All all Australians have not had a happy look on their face since. Uh moving on. Uh, uh Shithead Steve and Moist Buddha uh, team hey, up Steve. for this one here. Buddha. Oh it's it's from the New York Times, and it's an article here in Art and Design. <laughs> It says Nicholas Cage agrees to return stolen dinosaur skull to Mongolia. I'm going to repeat that. Nicholas Cage agrees to return the stolen dinosaur skull to Mongolia. Like you and, Jer- <laughs> and and Mer- Jeremy Woodcock uh, comments, there is no longer any distinction between Nicholas Cage's movies and Nicholas Cage's life. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure with that that movie um Massive pressure, massive genius, or whatever the hell that one of it is, where he played himself. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know he was in a movie, and they just like filmed a day with him and Pedro Pascal. <laughs> All right, moving on. Fun. Dave Ramsey, a uh, new acquaintance of the show. Oh fuck, <laughs> Dave Ramsey. <laughs> I I figured you might say that. That's why I said that's this cocksucker will not. <laughs> he will not block me. Oh really? But but, but everything. I, but I do I do have to laugh. I do have to laugh at this comment. Uh because honestly, I this is my financial strategy. Um it says putting that two hundred dollars into savings every month won't really make a difference in the long run. Might as well keep purchasing Ninja Turtles merchandise. It skyrockets in value. <laughs> I, 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 I just bought the last Ronin on Amazon. It should be here tomorrow, I think. <laughs> the Cool. The trades or the paperback. Oh, okay. Cool. I have. Uh, I got. I subscribe to him, dude. I got first printings. Yeah, I know. You told me. I hate you. Um, this is the last one I got for round three. Wrapping up my festival of dumb shit from all corners of the internet. Uh, from a friend of the show, Meme Thirty, and it's got a picture of a big ass pepperoni pizza, and a quote from Benjamin Franklin. So mm-hmm. those who give up pizza to get temp- little temporary abs deserve neither pizza nor abs. Benjamin Franklin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I he said this. I believe it's it crazy, in, my, yeah. in in the cockles of my heart. He said this, dude. My friend. No, it's got a picture of him right next to it. I mean, oh, I mean, exactly. That's. I mean, you got it on the internet, right? So that it had to be true, exactly. Fact. And that's all I got for round three. The turkeys have been brought in. <laughs> the dumb shit has been gathered. Over to you, Sizemore. You know, I, think... I want to point out that that earlier Sizemore said cockles, and then you just he... said cockles. You both said yes. cockles. We've all said cockles this sure. evening. Yes. Well, I, I said it, but I only said it because you, I was... you, you said that. you said it in a repetitive manner. You have not said it in the same manner that we have, accompanied by a meme. Right. Right. I would just like to point out that this delightful Benjamin Franklin quote about pizza goes really well with his other famous quote, which is, "Beer is." Proof that God exists and He likes us and wants us to be happy. Yes, a proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. Yes. So I think the beer and pizza quotes together is an excellent. Absolutely. You, he's. Oh yeah, he totally said one right before he said the other. That's totally oh, how he's it went. He's my favorite president. He's like, and speaking. He's of my which, totally my favorite president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I saw, I like his little portraits on the bills. I'll say that. I I really do. I think. Yes. I, I I wish I had more of the bills with his picture on it. Right, I think we all do. I mean, I I consider myself a bit of a collector. Um, yeah, I, I like Benjamin Franklin memorabilia, and that's just the easiest shit to get your hands on. There sometime. you go. There you, see, you get me. Uh, I get you, man. Front of the show. Oh, for the penultimate round, front of the show, Chad Oppitz. 
uh, out there in the Bay Area says, Australians are absolutely going to dominate the 2028 Olympics physical comedy competitions. I think that's probably, oh, damn it. probably a pretty good bet. <laughs> yes, we, we need mime. Olympic mime. Also, we have friend of the show, Joe Klosik, a comedian out in the Bay Area, says, Joe Rogan has claimed that stand-up comics can't tell jokes anymore. I didn't believe him. Then I watched his new stand-up special and believe him now. He can't tell jokes anymore. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Science humor Hasai Sanat says, uh, oh, wait, I wanted to have uh, Michael read this. Michael, are you still with us? Yep, here I come. Science humor. Science we humor. Had... What? Go ahead. Science Humor reposting Andrew Nadal, who says people are like, we know less about the deep ocean than the moon. Good. Have you seen what's down there? It's terrifying. We should know as little about it as possible. The entire reason to go to space is to get farther from the ocean. <laughs> but Hell yeah. I've got to be more. <laughs> Hell yeah. There could be Say, damn dinosaur fish down there. We don't see, know. Sometimes it's just like, oh, this meme will be read with more feeling by another on the show. Uh, <laughs> Frank Fertzkuhl at Cultural Marx says, you ever think about the fact that Wikipedia built the entire modern library of Alexandria using nothing but nerds need to correct each other? Hell yeah. It's true. Or I should say, um, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Friend of the show, <laughs> Carrie <laughs> Keller. <laughs> Friend of the show, Carrie Keller, has this delightful list from writers, readers, and genteel tomfoolery, who has a, a post from Deviant Plum, uh, which is just a whole bunch of, of, of nice uh, uh, alternative come-on lines, pickup lines, you know? And she says, this works, right? Uh, Deviant Plum says, when you see an attractive person, don't be coy. Be direct with them. Try something like, hello, stranger, I am enjoying your face shape. <laughs> My olfactory lobes are responding pleasantly to your sweet excretions. <laughs> oh, my. Your cranial keratin protrusions are well styled. <laughs> <laughs> the fibers you've decorated your flesh prison with were expertly selected. <laughs> oh, my. And your prehensile appendages look capable of creating impressive torque. <laughs> <laughs> We found out from a lot of the commenters that there were a lot of men who need a woman who has impressive torque. So, ladies, that's, that's what some of the men these days want. I, just after reading all of this, just said sploosh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, these would work on me. These would totally work on me. <laughs> Friend of the show and drink one, pour one out for him, our homie, Jesse Tuttle, says, quote, the stock market is crashing. Him. Good. Fuck them. Serves them right. Them. World War Three is breaking out. Me. Good. Fuck them. Serves them right. Pizza rolls are no longer on sale at the grocery store. Well, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this day would come. We had a good run, but everything is about to suck again. <laughs> that is totally something Jesse would say. <laughs> Some pizza roll poetry right there, man. Uh, none of us seem to mention Snoop Dogg, who apparently is like, I don't know, America's mascot at the Olympics. Um, uh, Ikea, uh, totally Ikea, says, why is Snoop Dogg at the Olympics? Wrong question. Why isn't Martha Stewart there with him? And then somebody posted a picture. She is there with him. There's a big update here. Uh, because uh, Elodie Andras says in Paris last week, he said, I'm interested in the horses that dance, and I, I want to give them some carrots and apples, make sure they're fed before they're doing their thing. And Stewart explained that the pair was going to go see dressage. So Snoop called me up. Uh, but Snoop says, I'm still scared of horses. She's like, you ever ridden a horse? And he's like, no, I'm scared. All right, we're going to do dressage, Stewart said. <laughs> so they got all dressed up in the riding crops and the knee-high boots <laughs> with the little hats and stuff. And the epilogue is, is that Martha <laughs> led him over there, gave him, got, he got to meet the horses, got to feed him a carrot. Uh, like you wanted, even though he seems to be nervous. So if you look there, he that's see the little pursed cheeks there. I'm thinking he's uh, <laughs> like, see the fist. More, he's, leaning, he's leaning on the fence, but he's got a fist. Like you know, like, really like I said last week, Snoop Dogg is going for all the side quests. <laughs> and somebody pointed out too that this white guy behind him is having the best day of his <laughs> life. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> so it's a happy day. Caucasian. It's the best day at work ever. 
Uh, here is Busted Trolls post, which just has a picture of J.D. Vance in a Viking helmet singing. It says, I have a raging boner and I need a couch now. Call J.D. Vance. 877-COUCH-NOW. 877-COUCH-NOW. How dare you desecrate that Midwestern anthem. Don't know it. Just did my best. Here, Phenom Brown has posted from Secret Nerd Base, the most meme-worthy Olympium results are in. Australia takes the gold, Turkey takes the silver, and France takes the bronze. We have the Turkish assassin, we got the breakdancer from Australia, and we got the guy whose pole vault uh, was, was impaired by his dick, his massive dick. So, you know, good show. Oh, my God. <laughs> Joe Klosik, friend of the show, has Rachel Ray Gun Gun's breakdance performance at the Paris 2024 Olympics and said it should be called If Slam Poets Danced. <laughs> Three, four. Oh, more with Snoop and dressage there. Yeah. Uh, friend of the show, intersectional memes and feminist things said, has a repost of Elon Musk saying, Indeed. And Nate saying, all voices are welcome on X. And he says, indeed. ACA Belon B says, trans lives matter. And it's posted, visibility limited. This post may violate X's rules against wokeness. <laughs> He's so sensitive. Like, so sensitive. Like, just, you could scratch him with your eyes. Did Silicon Valley reinvent the bus again? Has a four panel called Reinventing Pagliacci says, uh, we have a man at a doctor's office says, doctor, I feel a constant need for approval. Everyone, for everyone to love me, to find me funny. I feel unfulfilled and empty. I don't know what to do. And the doctor uh, has flipped around a, a laptop and he says, treatment is simple. Check out that Musk guy who bought Twitter. His posts are absolute dog shit. Just the most outdated and unfunny trash imaginable. Yeah. After seeing what he's doing, debasing himself uh, for approval from the biggest losers online, your problems won't seem so bad. And he says, but doctor. And it's Elon. <laughs> but doctor. <laughs> God. So weak and weird. And finally, for this round, uh, we have a bumper sticker on one of those cars uh, from Puns for All and All for Puns, uh, and it's an Odyssey, and below it, it says, my other car is an Iliad. Well, I like it. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> Good pun. I thought you'd like it. All right. Now, on to the, the ultimate uh, post with the most from you, Michael. All right, Eric, here comes my post with the most. This week, my post with the most comes to us from, drum roll, please, forget it, mi.i.burger. <laughs> oh, mi.i.burger, friend of the show. Yeah, hey, friend of the, we, friend of the show, everybody knows. Maybe totally. it's amy.l.burger. says, I know everyone is charmed by how folksy Tim Wall sounds with the quote-unquote weird mm. comment. But you have to understand that in Minnesota, that means what the absolute deep fried honey roasted fuck. Lebune, <laughs> <laughs> well, can you verify this? <laughs> yeah, for the most part. I mean, the, there's like the thing about the thing about Minnesota is I think that captures like most everybody, especially that you run into, you know, in at the store at work. You know, uh, it just there is. There is also, though, those fucking guys. It's still the Midwest. Okay. okay. So, you know, they'll still fight. You know what I mean? It's not like... Oh, yeah. It's not Canada. We're still American. We will oh, fight yeah. in the bar. Yeah. Right. But you got to think. You got to think like all shucks plus hockey. Okay. I'm tracking. You see? Not I, uh, quite as polite as our neighbors to the north. We still got a little, oh, little bit. We still, you're, you're still in America. You know what I'm saying? You still got a little America right. in there. That's right. God damn it. <laughs> I think, I, I'm pretty sure, didn't I send you that one? <laughs> I tried yeah, to marry, Mary and Michael, I tried to send all the Minnesota gags. And now that Tim Walls is in there, we are going to have so much more. So, oh, so much, so much South Canada. Oh, it's going to be a great year. Yeah, it's going to be a very good year. All right, TD, you up? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on you, sweetie. Um, all right, uh, my post with the most this week comes from my dumbass. And it says, this is why I think we should issue licenses to people wanting to cook. And it just says, I'll always offer to cook, not because I'm nice, but because I want the food to be good. 
It is the picture of a coffee pot full of water with a bunch of hot dogs in it. And on top of the coffee pot is hot dog buns trying to use the coffee pot as a bun warmer and a hot dog boiler. Mm. Ew. If I go to get my morning cup of coffee and I, I taste hot dog water residue, we oh. fighting. It's on site. I'm going to jail today. Anywhere fucking near it. I'm going to yeah, jail today. Terrible. Guilty, your honor. Lock me up. Throw it. Key. I did it. No nah, man, hot dogs it, could ruin any appliance. That's a word, word, and that is my that is my joke. Uh, my pose with the most, all that stuff. Size more, have fun. I just, uh, I, I think, uh, Michael, I'd like you to read what should have been my post with the most. No, this you get one, you get <laughs> one most, Eric. All right, fine, I don't care. It says every time you say woke, a gay angel creates another drag queen. Ding. So there you go. Woke, woke, woke. Woke, 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 uh, woke, 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 woke. This, this, this is my post with the most uh, that I put up on the 8th, and uh, lots of Midwestern friends of mine kept reposting this, and none of them seemed to disagree. Midwest versus everybody, Midwestern underscore Ope, has posted a map with the drunkest city in every Midwest state. And uh, we see here that clearly on Illinois, Champagne, And it's like, yeah, I mean, yeah. sure. I was surprised Chicago yeah. didn't take it. Mary and my, my wife, Mary and I had a deep conversation about this. Yeah, I checked in uh, with the Detroit people and they said East Lansing, maybe, sure. You know what I mean? Um, you know what? Then when I a thought, good chunk, a good chunk of my Indiana people would agree with Muncie, but also West Lafayette has a pretty good case too. So good friend of mine, Aaron Enright up in uh, Madison said, can confirm. And I said, oh, well, what would uh, Wisconsin come in? All of them. <laughs> that is nice. fair that is fair and that was my post with the most wrapping up an episode of facebook for the blind for august 13th 2024 episode number 171 do you have any idea how full my heart is with uh, of love for you people we love you thank you Woo! thanks for listening to an episode of facebook for the blind Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Recording stop. <laughs> Good wooing. Good wooing. Um. <laughs>